entrance hall, painting it in. The place is mainly under construction, so he was just saying you pretty much just uh, walk through to do what you want. Here's the castle out during winter. I kind of like the original look. It's the courtyard, but you see there's a lot of construction. Half of it is uh, closed off. So this is a replica of the banister they had here, which uh, caught on fire a hundred years ago. This is the church part of it. So this is one of the uh, original rooms. This is how it looks. It's a cat. <laughs> Alright, so that was the room on the left for the men. And this room is the room for the women. That was his wife. So this is the room that the women would get ready, get dressed up, see all the mirrors, a little bit of water there, mirrors everywhere. So here's one of the bedrooms, how they had it all set up. Uh, this is original, they had that on wheels, they used to take that with them. There's the uh, pooper. <laughs> this was uh, kind of like the dining room. You have different tables set up for different parts of the family. Here in the uh, game room, hunting was obviously 
pretty popular back then. Beautiful view of the garden. Wild pig. All kinds of different animals. Uh, this right here is a vertebrae from a whale. And this right here is that right there. It's a fox. Of course, you have to have the bare carpet. It's for drinks. gun cabinet. So in this room we have uh, some relics from World War II. See all the tanks in the yard when they came down uh, from Hitler when they first invaded Czechoslovakia. See some of the weapons that they found. The magazines. Bullets, grenades in 1944. Some flasks for alcohol, gun cleaning, some grenades, some old pistols. Knives. Old uh, cell phones, maybe? Some old news clippings from the 1940s, 50s. Some of the soldiers that were taking pictures there. Some old uh, landmines. So in this room we got some older war type of stuff. Some old muskets, cannons. Back in the uh, revolutions, I mean, this is the whole reason you had to have, you know, castles because pretty much always under attack from different people. And the guardsmen would have these out front. Mm -hmm. yeah, some pipes too. Some pipes have turned into knives also. This is a gigantic weapon, it's almost like an elephant gun. Let's see, this is one of the paintings they made for target practice. Alright, next room we're walking into is 
basically made for clothes, for designing clothes, making clothes. See some of the head scarves and stuff they made. Chepitze. Hats. So there's a lot of different windmills, different textures, different stuff. You see they made all these. Uh, so these are actually the townspeople, the uh, kids in school learn how to make all these. You see these are the old tools that they used. And they would just sit here and make clothes. Here is the um, front yard. There's our car right there. See the back side of the garden? There's a um, big lake in the back. All right, so here is the castle from the outside. Kind of have a little moat here. Um, I guess we want to turn around. This is the town, kind of the town square. A little moat. Uh, beautiful garden all around the fronts, the side. You can kind of see over on that side there is a nice lake. So here on the left side garden, pretty uh, pretty large, and then to the left of the building is where the little pond is that they put. So we're here behind the castle. See this is their little lake type of thing they have in the back. And uh, I guess he used to have a bunch of cows, and the guy that uh, owned the castle, some Albert was his name, I guess he was, I don't know, kind of crazy or something like that, and had cows out here and put them in gold, and that's the castle from the back. Some local kids, oh wait, that's the water right there. Local kids just uh, fishing. Enjoying life in the town. Not too much uh, in this town.